Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the uh, draws off the top of this this lead out. You see that stuff that's floating on there? That's a bunch of dirt, organic matter, and impurities in the lead that have been in there. It's called draws and it floats at the top. Uh, we obviously don't want to put that in our bullet mold because obviously that will cause some issues with the weight of the bullet and affect accuracy and, and the hardness overall. And it's just it's just some nasty stuff. You don't want to get that in your in your bullet mold. It might stick to it and cause some problems. So I've already got my lead dipper in there. I want to keep it nice and hot so it won't solidify, lead won't solidify on it when I take it in and out. I've got another dipper here, and this is an RCBS lead dipper, and it's an excellent dipper. Uh, they're, they are about $20, $25, but they are worth it. They're a good, uh, good design, and they're pretty sturdy. I've never had an issue with them. Uh, Lee makes a dipper for about 3 or $4. Uh, they call it a lead dipper. I would say it's not much of a lead dipper, but it is an excellent skimming tool. For 3 bucks, I can make do with that. Um, it doesn't hold a whole lot of lead in there, so therefore it sometimes takes two or three passes to fill a, a mold, and that's just not acceptable in, in most cases. So first thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this mold, or this dipper, out. Try to get it stirred around so I don't get too many impurities in there. Okay. Okay. In order to do that, we might as well skim off some of this junk here. Okay, this stuff here is called draws, and what I do is I put it in this little coffee can just to get it off of there. Okay, let me get it off so we can get some our other dipper out of there so we have more room to work. The reason I'm moving it out of the way is so when I pull this up, some of the draws that's in there won't stick to my dipper, my good dipper, and I'll have to re reflux and do everything again, which is not going to be a fun deal. So there's my that's the Lehman dipper, by the way. It's got a nice little hole that you can fill up and it pours out really nicely. So we're going to set that over on that bucket there. We're going to continue to skim and get most of this junk out of here. So stuff. And you're going to get some lead in there when you dip it out, but that's all right. Some people ad advocate scraping sides and stuff. You can do that if you want to. Uh, I reflux about every 15 minutes. Uh, if, and anytime I add more lead, I reflux anyway. So. That's not really an issue to me. We'll get most of the stuff out we can now. When I say flux, what that is is we're going to put like a wax-based substance into uh, into the lead. It's going to melt down, and it will. Uh, when it melts, all the impurities that are in there, we're going to stir it around. They're going to cling to that, and uh, then we'll be able to scoop it off. And we're going to be using. You can use regular old can of wax if you want to. Beeswax. Uh, some people use paraffin. I, I prefer to use uh, Marvelux by Brownells. It's five dollars for a tub, and it'll last you for a long time. It works really well. I can get it open with one hand here. I just take a good size amount like that and drop it in. Now, since this is getting, it's going to start melting away. I'm going to take my skimming tool. I'm going to go ahead and stir it. There's going to be a lot of smoke and stuff like this coming up. As you can see, there's already some nice brown and, and black junk coming up. That's that's the wax melting, but there's also impurities that are sticking to it. It's pretty much purifying my lead mixture. Now, if I ever find something that turns lead to gold, I'll let you know. <laughs> but... As of right now, this is the best way to get your lead pure. So we're going to stir a little bit more. You're not going to be able to get everything out of the lead. It's just the way it is. But you can see it's getting nice and black. and There's a bunch of junk that's coming up on there. Okay. Now that it's floating up towards the top, we skimmed it off. We're going to take the old stuff, dump it back in here. there. I'm going to stick my other mold or my other dipper back into the lead. Let it start warming up. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to get my my molds nice and hot before I go and start casting. And the reason we do this is so you don't have lead bullets that stick into the cavities, which is really a bad thing. So I'm going to take my 9mm mold and I'm just going to lay it right on top of the pot there. You can stick it into the lead if you want to a little bit and let it warm up that way. I've heard it this way. I've got some other things I need to get ready. 
This way I can just leave it up there and kind of forget about it for oh, about three or four minutes while it warms up and gets good and hot. So we'll be back and we'll start the casting process.